Hey peeps, I am Izzy Noodles and welcome back to the final part of Temple of Shiva. Last time we had just opened up these gates straight in front. And now let's head on through and see where they lead. So as you come to the stairs, this fire will activate, so just crouch underneath that. There we go. And here we've got a couple of poles to swing on, but we do have a few goodies down below, so I will just throw a flare in there, because there will be some creepy crawlies. I'll just see what I'm doing. What are you aiming at? There we go. That's it. Spiders are the worst. <laughs> That's so annoying. You can't really see it, but there is a pot. Oh, not that pot. Come on, let me shoot that. There is a pot right in the corner. And that's it. So let me light another flare and you can see what I'm actually doing. So underneath the pot in the corner there are some shotgun shells. There's a small med pack here. And also there are some flares. Nice. So let's climb back out and now we can use the poles. Get rid of that, just in case. So the deal with the poles, there's two, but once you release from the second one, you don't want to grab. You want to veer to the left so that she lands on the edge. Let's do this. Just like so. And also we've got a few more goodies down below here, so let's go down and grab them. There is a vine we can use, just here. So back in the day, the very, very first time I played this, I fell down here and, well, I died, <laughs> but as I landed, it chimed as a secret. This is not a secret. I don't know why it chimed, but down here there is a small med pack and a shotgun. So I don't know why it chimed. I put that down to a bug. But walkthrough says this is not a secret. I don't even know if I gained it in the statistics or not, to be honest. I didn't look. But it's not. Okie dokie, so once we're out, throw the flare <laughs> like a badass. And we've got this. So a good move that's in this particular game is that you can jump off the beam slash tightrope. I assume that they have the same mechanics and you can't always land back onto the beam slash tightrope but you can in this game so that is awesome. So I'm gonna save just because. Okay so you want to go forward about a tiles space. When the flames lit you can kind of see where the tiles meet so Lara is kind of hovering, I might get set on fire. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but you can see where Lara's foot is, there's a, a line. So yeah, you can just see when the flame is lit, where the tiles meet. Ooh. I'll wait here. If you tap the forward button, you'll go forward three steps. That's something to know, but press jump. And be very quick to correct yourself. I'll jump again because I think I was actually a bit too close to the flame. But yes, you can jump and then just be sure to correct yourself very quickly because she's going to lose her balance. But that is a brilliant feature, not used in every TRLE. Okie dokie, so we got a little flyby there and let's come to the edge here, see what's going on. We actually want to get down to the bottom, but the only way down, you see straight below Lara, there is the grating on the ground. 
That's a pit of water. So we want to open up the grate to land in the water. That's how we're getting down there. So we want to pull three levers to open that up. The first lever is right here. So that's shown as the grate. And you do need to press the look button to come out of that angle. So now we can go left or right. I know I turned the camera in the wrong directions, but <laughs> whatever. I will firstly come to this side. It really doesn't matter which way you're gonna go first. Got some spiders at the top of the stairs. They are so annoying. There we go. Also some oozy clips here. Some bats around the corner. I can deal with the bats. <laughs> Spiders are just too annoying. So now just crawl down into this gap. And down here you may get a little bit stumped. There's no items and seemingly there's nothing to do. But there is a very sneaky hidden ledge. So right up against the wall, if you come forward and press grab, she will grab a hidden ledge. So just shimmy all the way around. Okay, and then just grab these vines here, climb on up. Okay, and the lever, the, oh, <laughs> the second lever, is right here. Okay, so again, that's shown as the grate, so press the look button to come out of the angle. And we're heading now straight to the opposite side. There is another lever, like a, a mirrored design, straight across the way. Okay, so on this side we've got some more spiders just down on this level. They're not too good at climbing stairs, so that's good. Okay, and again we can hop down through this little gap. And there will be yet more spiders. Okay. So um, again, same as last time, there's an invi invisible ledge you can grab and shimmy around, but I'm going to go get a secret first. So there's a vine just down here. So I'm going to save just because I can. <laughs> no reason really. I don't know why, but it seems like a habit to save here. <laughs> but to get the secret, you actually want Lara's head to be quite high up. Like so. <laughs> like it's going through the stone. So if you get to the end and realize that Lara's in the wrong place, you do actually have to shimmy all the way back here to be able to be as high as you can physically be. So we're heading all the way around to a crawl space. You can just see it there. Okay, and you want Lara to lose her footing. So if she's done that, that is good. That is what you want. And just make sure you are as far along as you can possibly be, and then let go and grab, and she will easily grab this. So otherwise, she won't do that. And here is the fourth and final secret. So we've got flares and a large med pack. Now you can easily climb out and just shimmy all the way back. She's got a, a crazy shimmy dance going on there, a jittery shimmy dance. So you also want her to have her footing to be able to get around the corner. Huh. 
Okay, okay. Now let's go and pull this third and final lever. So come to here and grab the ledge and shimmy all the way around. Okay, so just here we need to climb up and crawl inside. And you cannot return from here. I don't know why. Let me demonstrate what it does. You can't crawl out. That happens every single time. You can actually turn on the spot, but you cannot run forward. So, uh, yeah. You can't come out of this gap. Don't really understand. But anyway, let's uh, proceed. Oh, no, you can't flip forward out of a gap either. Okay, so again, grab the vine and climb them up. And there will be some bats this time. Okay, so now, the third lever. Alrighty, the grate has dropped away and we can land straight in the pit of water. So, <laughs> make sure you're lined up. I think I am having difficulty today. Nice! <laughs> So once we climb out, there will be a green lizard come to say hello. So uh, let's grab the shotgun and say hello back. There we go. So the ones in this game are not poisonous. And don't forget the closer you are to an enemy, the more damage your weapon will do. Also, you've got this big open area here. And there's no items there, and if you go over into that area, four more lizards will spawn. So I am actually going to choose not to go and explore that area. So right here, we have a closed gate which we need to open. That is the order of business. We need to open the gate, so come through to here. If you step onto the slope section, you will spawn a couple of tigers. There we go. And as we come inside, these two Shiva statues in front will activate. Uh, they will come to life. <laughs> so you can see another statue to the side and one on that side. These ones don't come to life. You can kind of see the colour difference there. There was a, quite a big difference. But the two ahead will. So just deal with them. Run. <laughs> Okie dokie. So they do not drop anything. So in this room we've got a couple of pickups, there's shotgun shells here. And also some Uzi clips just over here. And to open those gates, there's four levers we need to pull. There's two up on this high ledge, and two up on the other high ledge. It's very easy to get up there. We've got a movable block just here. We've got this little tiny wooden fence thing. Could be a stone fence actually, not sure. But Lara can't physically walk through that, but she can pull the block through that, <laughs> so that's helpful. Okie dokie. So just use the block, and then climb on up. Okay, so here's lever one. Across the way is lever two.
just hop the gap here and then we're going to jump to the other side come to the point and when you are at a point Lara can easily get her feet stuck so before trying to jump always make sure she can move so come to the point and hop back and grab this okay here is lever 3 and straight across is lever 4 whoops so now just hop down and the gate will be open so let's head straight there yes so on this slope we will spawn some of the lizards three of them so two revolver bullets will do them in so that's that's good <laughs> very powerful revolver so now here you just want to jump over these blades when you get close enough they will activate a run and jump should survive, suffice my words today, like every day really. Okay, so when you think you're close enough, just hop back and then run and jump. Nice. So now we've got some slopes to negotiate just here. On my first playthrough, I made a right mess of these slopes. It's a lot easier than I made it look. I kept messing up. So just make sure you hop back on that slope and then grab this one. Come as far to the right as you can. And then climb up, jump back, jump off again and veer to the right so that you can grab this section and you can stand here. So now we're heading for the next slope on the wall there. So make sure you are in the corner so you can do a running jump. Grab that. Whoa, okay, don't grab that. Never happened before. That's what everyone says. <laughs> okay, try again. Let's try this again. Hop back. Run and jump. And grab. There we go. That's how you do it. So then you want to shimmy all the way to the last tile space and then climb up and jump and turn this time grab this and climb on up there we go so through here we've got a med pack lying on the ground it's actually very easy to miss Ooh. get your pistols ready there's a couple of kitty cats lurking <laughs> behind them columns Okay, so also shoot this vase that looks different because there are some Uzis inside here. We have the Uzis. And somewhere, there they are, there's some Uzi clips. Nice. So now you want to jump onto this structure, this kind of Shiva structure. We're heading to the other side. You can just see across the way we can get into a space over there a big area but firstly I'm gonna hop down because we've got a few items we can grab so here you want to do the fake grab so grab but then let go of the grab button hop down there are some bats we've already heard them okie dokie so we've got some shotgun shells here And we also have a small med pack here. And just hop up to this level, and there is a large med pack. Nice. So now I just want to save my game so that I can show you something. So down below here, let's hop down. There is this that we can turn.
Okay, so what that has done has turned the structure's headpiece. I mean, there is absolutely no reason to turn it. But you can see it's facing that away now. And also, because I'm in this area, I've spawned the four reptile things. But there is nothing else that that does. It, all it does is turn the head of the statue. And also now to get out of here we have to go back through that room. <laughs> but I will just reload to where I was. So that's why I pointed that out. I just wanted to point it out, but you know, it doesn't do anything and you have to climb all the way back up again. So let's continue. Climb back to where we were. Come up to here to come back out. And we're going to come across the structure's shoulders. Hop the slope just there. And you can slide down here, but don't forget to grab this. We're going to shimmy along. Okay, what what are you doing? There you go. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so come to here where we can stand up. So you can see the statue's head a bit better there. But yeah, you can turn the head with that handle down below, but that's all you can do. <laughs> Doesn't do anything else. And now... Let's choose the Uzis, just because we can. There's some lizards. These ones are a pain in the ass. The Uzis don't do very much to them. But I'm using the Uzis just because I can. I'm being very clumsy as well. Okay, one, one down. Oh, they took health off me, that's rude. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I've just run out of ammo. <laughs> Good. Okie dokie, so this is my health right now. Come on in, we do have a couple of bats. Okay, and we need to get across to the other side, but we've got these two burners. Ugh. I absolutely hated this part on my very first play, but I've got the knack to it now, I think. And there we go, just do that. <laughs> But just be sure to correct your balance very quickly. That's the only thing with that. So here we've got a gate either side and we've also got these two levers. When you pull both levers, both of the gates will be open. So one lever does not correspond to one gate. You would need to pull both levers. So it doesn't matter which room you go through first. If we remember from part one, the idea was we needed the Shiva statue's two swords. That's what we need to find. And in these two rooms, there is a sword in each room. So technically it's a scimitar, but in the game they are labelled as Shiva swords. Or Shiva's sword. So again, it doesn't matter which room you choose first. I'm choosing this one. I think I did it the other way around last time. But just come forward, if you, you can see I'm just in front of the tile there, if you take one or two steps forward, you activate this boulder here. So just wait for that to stop and you can jump over it. Or at least slow down anyway. There we go. And you can hear that on the other side of this wall, some blades have activated. And I don't know what she looks at here, she always looks up. I don't know what's so fascinating. But just grab this first Shiva's sword. Okie dokie. And there is a large med pack. 
So here we've got some blade traps, we've also got a fall away floor and the tile in front of the fall away floor. Once you step on that, the ceiling will fall down. We'll activate that as well. That was <laughs> all kind of stuff's going on. I'm gonna save just here. Okay, so I tend to sprint for a little bit. Don't jump too soon or too late. I took damage anyway. I actually want to retry that because of the next trap. I do have a habit of jumping too soon. Okay, that was good. Ooh. So now just sprint through this one. Okie dokie. Nice. So now head into the next room to get the next Shiva sword. And on my first play, my recording of my first go through here, I cheated like a dirty little cheater. So when you approach the door, it will open. I will show you both ways that this, because I've managed to do it without cheating, but if you really are struggling, I'm going to show you the cheating way. Okay, so firstly, I will show you the cheating way. So once you enter the room, the door will close behind you. So what you want to do as it's closing, hop back again. There we go. <laughs> so the door's opened again because we're on the other side. And head in again, and you will activate the ceiling spikes. So just, you know, just leave the room. You will be perfectly safe. So just sit and wait for that. Okie dokie! Safe, safe, safe. Just run on in. That's it. But um, I will do it properly this time. That's what I will do. So I'm going to reload <laughs> and show you how to actually do it. So, do it properly. You actually want to be a bit away from the door to give you time to sprint in and then stop again so that you can jump over that block on the right there. And then around the corner, you actually want to jump perfectly so that you land on top of the Shiva's sword. If you don't do that in one smooth go, you may as well just go ahead and reload. Um, but if you do it in one smooth go, you can jump back and flip in the air without the ceiling getting you. You do have that split second that you can flip in the air, otherwise the ceiling will just kill you as you jump up. Right, let's do this. I messed up already. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I don't think I clipped the edge, so... <laughs> nope. Nope. I'll reload. The curse of recordings drags again. Oh, I took damage. Okie dokie. So, you just saw me run straight through the blade. So, sometimes it will take off a lot of health. Sometimes you cannot take any damage whatsoever. So, I did good. I did good today. Sort of. <laughs> I took many attempts to do that. But really, you want to do it in one smooth swift movement. So that's how you do it properly. Okay, so now we just got to get back out of here. And then we can go and give the statue its swords.
think I will just flip twice just here. There we go. Let's just flip to the end. <laughs> there we go. So to come out of here, there's a lever just here. So that's opened that door up there. So to get to there, you see that crack in the ledge, big gap. Come all the way to this side on that higher tile section. Jump up and shimmy to it. Nice. So climb on up and unfortunately there is no sprint roll in this game so we have to very slowly just crawl along. Okay, so once we're at the end, the door will open. Um, I'm not holding any buttons. Can you let go? There we go. I just tapped the button again to make her let go. Don't know what happened there. But now we are back in a familiar spot. Back at this third lever we pulled. So there is a safe way back, but actually we can't use that. I've already demonstrated what happens when you try and crawl out of the gap. It just won't happen. So we're forced to take a little bit of damage. Hop down here. So back up the way we came to the start. Coming out of the temple. Okie dokie. Okay, so back across the beam. Can you forward please? There we go. Oh, I done goofed. Oh no! <laughs> I really done goofed. Not on fire anymore, though. Okay, so when you come off this beam, make sure you give yourself quite a bit of distance between the beam and letting go of the grab button because she falls and she goes backwards ever so slightly as she finally lands. So you can potentially sort of go backwards and fall straight down into the pit. So that's a bit annoying. Also here, if you're trying the Nomads Challenge, I recommend that you just drop straight down here, grab the edge and let go so that you do not take any damage because these poles, once you swing to the last one, she doesn't grab the edge for some reason and you will take a little bit of fall damage. Like so. So I've got a lot of health this time around so I just went and just did that just cuz so don't forget to duck down under the fire and we're heading straight outside okie dokie let's give this statue its swords okay and the next one. So 
So what that has done has filled this pit with water and opened up that doorway just there. So there are a lot of traps in this tunnel, so stick... Why did you turn around? I didn't even turn around. And um, what you want to do is stick to the roof. As you can see, that's the best option here. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, stick to the roof. This can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Keep sticking to the roof. We've got one more. And do not surface. Try and turn before surfacing because as Lara surfaces, sometimes she moves backwards and her feet may get clipped by that last blade. So now, exit the water. We've got a Shiva. Oh, I thought I picked up more Uzi clips. Never mind. I will yellow with the revolver. Nice. You know what it is? Yes, we should have more Uzi clips. In the room with the fall away spike ceiling, there is Uzis in that room. I forgot to go back in and pick them up. I'll probably splice that in. Okay, so inside the room, for quickness, I actually cheated. So the sword is still there. But here are some Uzis. With just a tiny bit of ammo. There we go. 30 ammo of Uzi clips. <laughs> Uzi bullets. So, back to the end of the game. Not that we need the Uzis anyway. <laughs> so, once you have killed that Shiva, this column will appear and you can climb up and grab this. This is labelled as the Tomb of Set. Is it Set? Let's have a look. Nope, <laughs> those are flares. Well, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? I'll pick it up and then it will be in the inventory. Tomb of Seth. So that's it. This is what we came for. Picking that up opens up this door. And you can hop on in and end the game. So thank you for watching everyone. And I will see you in the next walkthrough. Take it easy guys.